Hello everyone, today we will be discussing about closure property under CFL. Now consider if we have uh, a particular language and that has uh, the production rules given as S1 and if we have another language for which the production rules are given as S2. Now under union I can write S gives either S1 or S2. So I say that CFLs are closed under union operation for concatenation it will be s gives s1 s2 so now cfls are also closed under concatenation for clean closure that is i want to allow multiple occurrences of the same grammar then i will say s gives s s1 where s1 is for language 1 or epsilon the rule can be reversed and so the CFLs are also closed under reversal operation. CFLs are also closed under homomorphism. To, dis to understand what is homomorphism, refer to the closure properties of regular languages. Uh, inverse homomorphism, that is H inverse of L, L is also a CFL. So CFLs are also closed under inverse homomorphism. Now let us understand what is substitution. The string of a language is replaced by an entire language. So consider if I have these two alphabets. These will be replaced by one another entire language. So S of 0 will be 0 star, 1 star and so on. S of 1 may be A of power n, B power n and so on. Now substitution also results in CFL. So CFLs are closed under substitution. Very impo important point to remember, CFLs are not closed under intersection, set difference or complementation. That is, if I intersect or uh, perform set difference or complementation, the resulting language will not be belonging to CFL. Hence, I say that CFLs are not closed under intersection, set difference or complementation. Thank you.